Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're talking about the TP Powerline Wi-Fi version this time. The actual extender. They call it power extender. So it's and not you can well it's extending the Wi-Fi network. And there's two things you can do. It's two type of configurations you can use this for, which we're going to explain to you very shortly itself anyway. But yeah, it's uh, streams 4K. It's a uh, gigabit as well. So we're used to these kind of sockets. We've already done a product review on that one. This now we're using this with the Wi-Fi extender unit. So you get one of these little boxes in the, in the box and you get this as well. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's part of the AV1000 range, which is really cool. Um, again, it's um, for adding an extra Wi-Fi device in your bedroom or, or one of your rooms in the house. You kind of got a very weak signal and you need to kind of get a better signal in there itself. This will do it. Broadcasting and streaming at 4K for TVs, for gaming. It's all that kind of stuff it works for. So it's a gigabit speed. Uh, again, using your power lines as kind of a, an Ethernet backbone kind of thing, if you want to explain it that way. Run it instead of running cables around your house, which is awesome. So let's have a look at let's unbox this, have a look at what's inside, and what do you get for your money as well. So there we have it. So we got we got one of these, which is we're really quite used to that, the AV100. So that's just basically a glorified plug with an e a gigabit Ethernet port on the bottom. And then this is the Wi-Fi module. So A, you get the Wi-Fi module. So they will pair together. So straight out of the box, they do pair, which I'll show you in a sec. It's got a gigabit port on the side there, so if you want to plug a console into it, you can do, or you can just use the Wi-Fi on it on here as well. You've got side buttons on here. It says Wi-Fi, LEDs, and pair. The pair button is to pair it with one of these. The LEDs allow you to turn LEDs on and off, so they're not obviously showing really brightly on the wall. So if it's in your bedroom, last thing you want to do is this great big little green light glaring away at you. And the Wi-Fi is allow that to sync your Wi-Fi code with this without worrying about programming it. But I've done this before uh, and I've tested it. It doesn't work for me, but it may work for you. But I, I'm bringing a video out very shortly after this video where it explains how you can configure this manually. So if you click on your Wi-Fi button on there, one on your router, and it doesn't seem to change, bring your Wi-Fi settings over, it um, doesn't matter because I can tell you I can do that, set that manually instead. It doesn't always work, um, but it's meant to be like true plug and play. But the pairing of these two devices together are true plug and play. Uh, you obviously get two, two of these cables. I'm already currently using this one um, earlier. So grab a power line, power plug, uh, make sure it's on. Plug that one in. And then we plug the cable in the bottom of that one, which goes to my switch, or in your case, your router. Or, and then we plug this one in here. I hope you can see this. So we've got a green light for power, green light for power, We've got the green light where it's paired, and this will come up in a minute. Is it coming up? It should come up. Uh, and then we'll should, then I should have a link light come up on here as well. So it's connected to my switch. Uh, wait for it to come up. It's meant to be coming up. I'm hoping it works on one of these way, because I don't want to end up filming two different locations. Um, yeah, Wi-Fi's come up. Um, yeah, the pair it's not paired in. The pair, it's actually showed it's lost the pair on it on these two, which is great because all we could do is click on the pair button there. We click on the one on the side here, find which one it is. Pair, pair, pair. It's that one. Do it one click, and they should run through a little sequence. And the lights flashing on here, and they should hopefully pair up. This is a new um, power adapter I'm using, so it may not work on this one. But it was working earlier anyway, so. <laughs> then it's light, it doesn't kind of work. But trust me, it does work. So you should have three lights come up on here. And there you go, pair, pair light is coming up. So yeah, there you go, it's paired, there you go. So I didn't press, I think you have to hold it in for a couple of seconds anyway. So we've got power lights, we've got the pair lights come up, and we've got um, the ethernet light on here. And because we're not plugged into the ethernet port on here, um, it's not showing up on here, but it does show the Wi-Fi. So there we go. It's simple as that. So the pair buttons work. But I did couldn't get the Wi-Fi configuration button to work on my router. I, I re pressed one on the router, pressed one on here, meant to do them at the same time. And it should then just literally copy the SSD settings and password down to this box and do it pre for, should do it for you. So try that first. If it doesn't work, there is a video coming out which shows you how to firmware this up and shows you how to set this up manually so it's on the same network as your router itself. Um, so that way you don't have multiple profiles with different SSDs and password connections. But there you go. 
It's it's true plug and play, and these are great devices. A gigabit speed. I'm not sure what the actual speed across the Wi-Fi. It's meant to be a thousand megabits um, across the LAN cable. Uh, on the Wi-Fi, I think it'll be just under that. But we can do some testing with this on another video soon, like a speed test kind of thing. Uh, I kind of need to get my home network set up before we do proper testing. But that'll be for another video anyway. So there you have it then. So the Wi-Fi um, extender from, from TP-Link over the power lines. Um, it's absolute, absolute. I love this. I love the TP-Link stuff. It's bang for your buck. Um, it's good quality. It's a quite a good brand name as well. I've never had any issues with the TP-Link stuff. Always seem to be great. Uh, if I want to extend stuff in the house, I'm not spending thousands of pounds on it. And they kind of do the adapters for kind of everything I kind of need as well. So as I said, this is going to be installed in a, um, a friend's house. So we've got this going in. We've got two of these going in. So it's going to be three in total. Um, we've got a ceiling mount going in as well. And we've got a small uh, four port, um, sorry, five port gigabit switch. This is gigabit range. So work on your gigabit. So if your um, internet is over, um, over 500 meg or more, also now we're getting faster speeds on the internet so we kind of make sure we need our internal kit that will support the extra speed we're getting on the internet otherwise you end up having bottlenecks with your own equipment it's not um so you're a lot of people do complain that the broadband speed slower not realizing their existing kit is not at the right speeds or able to do any more than 300 megabits or 500 megabits as some of these uh, old ones are so um and also you know, on the electrical cabling wise uh, questions asked me about that before uh, how how many meters of wire uh, in wire in the house itself these power lines will work with? So adding up to 300 meters or 1,000 feet over an existing electric wiring cable. So that's the wires inside your house when you plug them into the power walls themselves. So if you're living in, so these won't be great for business environments but when you've got an office going from one end of the building to another because it probably ex ex exceeds this. So very much good for home product products as well. Or this could actually work quite well in small businesses that are very much the offices are very close together maybe. But um, yeah, it's a great product. I, I love it and it's a great video. So we've got more videos coming out very soon where we firmware this um, and configure it as well. So that way it's all on the same network as your original routers on. So if you've got a BT or a Virgin, it'll come with its SSD, uh, use SSD and passwords. So we'll, well, I'm going to show you how to configure that to this so it all stays as one network then. So there'll be a video coming out for that very shortly as well. And also how to firmware update these boxes so they stay with the latest updates on it so it's always current and running on all the right, um, well, it's bug-free basically, kind of. Anyway, bug-free as much as, as much as we possibly can be. And obviously sometimes firmware supports new features so it keeps up with the current market of stuff as well. But yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe, thumbs up as well. And then if you've got any questions on these, comment below. They're going on sites this week. To, uh, to a friend's place. I'm going to leave it running for about a week or two, then we can revisit them and ask them, you know, how is it behaving? You know, are you having any issues and stuff like that? And we can see how um, well, and because these are friends, I can keep up to date with them over the next six months, uh, a year or two, uh, and kind of get an idea how long these will last as well. So, I mean, it's pretty robust, uh, robust, pretty ro robust itself. I don't seem to have any issues with TP links I've had in the past, but these are great products anyway. So again, Amazon, Curry's, uh, various places on the internet you can buy these from, which is which are great. I can't remember the, what this price is actually was, but do have a look around. Uh, and there's some good deals going on as well. And obviously look in your local Curry store as well. So thanks for watching guys and see you on the next video. Here at SMJ Media Group, we are a non-profit company supporting local businesses by making fun media content. If you like our content and would like to support us, please go to buyusacoffee.com slash smjmediagroup and buy us a coffee.